Hello, this is Ainsdale Prestige Automotive with a video today of this Ford Tornio. 16 plate car. Very good condition, really. Uh, 32,000 miles on it. Good spec, pan roof, reverse camera, parking sensors. Automatic, cruise control. In very good condition. So I'll take you around the bodywork first of all. And then we'll have a little look at the interior. Uh, truthfully, there isn't really much to report in terms of any uh, problems or damage to the, to the exterior of the car. Uh, it's in very nice condition. There's a small Oh no, there's not a stand up on the bottom, it's just a bit of dirt. So yeah, it's actually very nice, very clean. Not really anything there in the way of damage to the front. Only there's a few major stone chips and things, but this is uh, very nice and clean. Which is good. Did have a quick look around it earlier, but there's honestly not much I can see. So just trying to see if I can see anything whilst the video's on. Uh, the only thing, obviously there's just a bit of scuff around this, you know, the very edge of this wheel. That's about it. Oh, it's the folding door mirrors as well, so you lock it and the door mirrors fold in. Uh, driver's side, all good. Can't see any uh, dents, can't see any problems. In the paint, no signs of damage, no scuffs, no scratches. All very nice there. Tinted rear windows as well. A clean rear wheel. No real marks there. Coming around the back. So you've got your parking sensors down the bottom and your reverse camera that you can just see there. And as you'd expect, all very nice and clean. Not a scratch on it. Which is great. Open the boot while we're back here. So you do get the seven seats, but there is actually quite a good, decent bit of load space behind those rear seats as well, if you uh, if you did need it all. But obviously you can get re remove these and uh, have a huge amount of space in the back. Passenger side, again, same, similar story really, if not better. Nothing wrong with that wheel, everything okay there. Again, no dents, scuffs, scratches, anything down this side at all. A little scuff around the front wheel here, but otherwise, nice condition. Okay, we'll have a little look in the interior. So big sliding doors on the back. Middle row of seats, good condition. No, uh, no damage to them. That's what you want, and if we pull this, I believe this folds out. And then you see the uh, the rear seats, which also equally are in very nice condition. Might be a bit dark at the back there, but all the seats are fine. I'm going to pull this one to lift it back up. Okay. Well, while we're back here, 
should also say everything else you know there's no uh, there's no interior issues and you do get this big panoramic glass roof as well which is a nice feature especially for those in the back tables there and then you've got a couple of um, USBs and SD card for the nav line in for your audio there and then a further power point there for some more charging and then another 12 volt power point at the front too and in the doors you've got a bit more storage and things like that very practical cars but yeah in a really really good condition coming round to this side front seats no wear on them no major signs of anything at all certainly no uh, scuffs on them or marks or anything which is good no uh, no wear or damage on that door and all your you know buttons and everything else are in good condition like I said it's like on 32 just under 32 and a half thousand so Everything is as you'd expect it to be and, and in perfectly good condition. Automatic gearbox. All your climate control stuff. If you pop it in reverse, you'll see big reverse camera and your parking sensor indication there. So makes it super easy to maneuver. Touch screen, really good this Ford system super easy to operate and obviously then you've got your navigation you've got your cruise control buttons here on the steering wheel along with your trip computer operation which will do this screen in the middle and your volume controls and answering the calls and bits and bobs like that for when your phone's connected lights down there automatic lights which is where you'd leave it I'm driving a, a Ford at the moment and I just leave it on the auto really no problems as I said you've got another 12 volt uh, power source down there and there are some uh, obviously your volume control bits and bobs like that DAB radio and obviously you can connect all your phone and everything else up there so basically condition wise outside Pretty much as close to perfect as you can expect uh, for a used car. A few little scuffs on the two front alloys, otherwise fine. And in interior, I really can't find fault with at all. Um, there's not a scuff, a mark, a bit of damage, anything wrong with the car, to be perfectly honest with you. I think I've pretty much covered everything that I needed to cover. There's always something I forget, but I think I've, uh, I've gone through everything. If there's any further questions, or anything I can do for you, just give us a call at Ainsdale Prestige Automotive. The number is 01704 829977. That's 01704 829977. Okay, thank you very much.